Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this. We are doing some cauliflower mashed potatoes. Now, I know there's a billion recipes online for this and they are all fantastic. James and I don't like cauliflower. James is not a big fan of cauliflower. So this recipe was all about making it taste as close to actual potatoes as we possibly could, which meant adding a bunch of stuff to it to cover up the cauliflower taste and just making it pretty much taste like the ingredients because cauliflower is magical and it absorbs what's around it. My girl Luna really helped me with this, but with Thanksgiving being a little bit nutsos, we didn't actually get all of the footage recorded. So in the description box below, everything that you need is gonna be included there and all of the links to the items that we use. So definitely check that out. If you hadn't already, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. I post weekly healthy food videos and recipes. So let's get right to this holiday side or you can eat this any time of year that you want, this cauliflower mashed potatoes. Happy Thanksgiving from my heart to yours. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I am so grateful for all of you having subscribed. This is just something for fun for me and my family and it means the world to me that other people are getting on the keto bandwagon and are taking care of their health. So let's, without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, we're gonna jump right into it. <clears throat> you're gonna take your head of cauliflower and you're gonna just cut off that stem. You can avoid all these steps if you want to get like a uh, frozen package or maybe even those pre-cut ones. But I like to use my hands and keep the dexterity and muscles in them so I think you should as well if you have a chance to. You're gonna pull out all the leafy pieces until you can get a little bit more of that stem off. And you're just gonna toss it in the trash if you want to cut each individual piece off, you can, as I am here, and you kind of just want to get at the base of the cauliflower. You don't, and you can go down farther. This is really a personal preference. You would have more mashed potatoes if you kept more of the stem. I'm not a fan, so I just cut it all off, and uh, James really kind of doesn't like cauliflower, so I tried to make sure we were working with him. These don't necessarily have to be symmetrical, as I normally say, but relatively similar in size is good. And we're just gonna boil these instead of steaming them, which is way different. You're just gonna boil them until they are forkable, so you want the fork to go at least halfway through them. Then we're gonna take a break from our regular scheduled program to show you cuteness. The bacon is going with the meatballs? You belong in this house, child. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. too. <laughs> and I'm a stinker pot. You are a stinker pot. A stinker pot face? No, I like that. There you go. All right, back to the food. So, but you know, family's all about people coming over, right? And having a good time. So you're gonna strain these. If you wanna use it with a lid or just over the sink, I actually got a strainer. I'm just not very coordinated and it just seems safer. So just put a little bowl underneath, strain it out, and you're gonna dump out the water. I happen to be right next to my sink and make sure everything's really close. I'm not one of those people who wants to take as many steps as possible sometimes. I just wanna get the meal done. Pour it back into your bowl and then this you're gonna get whatever kind of potato masher you have. I happen to have one of these from back in the days when I did gaps and made sauerkraut. And I just kind of fast forwarded it. And you kind of just get it to the texture that you want to and you feel as potato-esque. Uh, that's a really a personal preference. You can use a fork. And I like to, and I think this is a really important step to get that cauliflower taste out, is actually to drain out the rest of the moisture inside of it. The problem that I had with this is that I got a whole head of cauliflower and it shrank down so much that only, each of us only got a spoonful of cauliflower, which was definitely not enough. So I would use one more, maybe even two more full heads of cauliflower. And then, uh, and then do this motion. As you can see, as I'm kind of getting all that water, it's really shrinking it down and condensing it. And it was so hot that I was melting my nail polish off of my hands and like trying to like move, do this as quickly as possible. So um, I will say that if you are, you know, if you have a little bit more patience than I do, you're more than welcome to wait. But I wanted the cauliflower still to be hot so that it would melt the other ingredients that I'm gonna add, such as the butter and items. But you can pre-melt these so you don't have that problem. Anyways, you're just gonna go back to the original bowl, take out your strainer. Oh, and the strainer will be linked in the description box below. This is an almond milk strainer, and I use it for all kinds of other things, like even making tea. It's fantastic. Um, it's just a mesh, you know, cheesecloth with like a drawstring. It's fantastic, it's stronger than cheesecloth, it's more unique, it's an actual bag, and I just really like it. So now we're just gonna take a little bit of spices that you would put on your typical mashed potatoes. I'm going with typical, meaning like traditional or something that most people would have in their house. So salt and pepper was something we went that was basic. And we have this cream from our local dairy farm, which is called Calico Farms, and it is amazing. It does make our stomach hurt. They're grass-fed cows. You can actually see them on the property. It's very neat. So if you have that near you, support local and support your gut health. It is a great choice. And it's, of course, flavorful. So, I mean, you win all the way around. And then we're gonna take our Kerrygold butter, which we really, really love also from grass-fed grass cows and it does have salt in it and this is why I wanted it hot because I just took like 
a big chunk of it. I It's probably several tablespoons and we added more later. I'm a butter freak, especially being on keto. So add as much as you find necessary to really get the flavor right. And this is where you can customize it. You can add a little bit of bacon chunks. You can add some cheese. You can add cream cheese to this. Whatever you put into your loaded baked potato, or if you just want to keep it really basic, you can stop here. And then you can see we, we kind of let people customize it on the table, which I'll be able to show you right now. All right, now. guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you try it out. Leave it in the comments below if you did, because I really want to know if it felt like actual mashed potatoes to you, because it did to us, and I was so excited, especially that gravy. It was on point. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for being here today. Subscribe below. We are like this close to a thousand subscribers, which was my goal for this year. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe. And then I'm doing a fun giveaway with some recycled made uh, cutting boards, which I think will be awesome because I've never gotten a chance to that. We are almost there and it is December. I only have so many more days. So please help me out. That would mean the world to me. Comment below with your favorite Thanksgiving side. We're gonna go with Thanksgiving, not Christmas, not holiday. Specifically, what is your favorite Thanksgiving side? Or maybe like a memory and why. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. I've been rambling too much. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. 